So thank you, Ann. Thank you, uh, Club Cisson. Uh, thank you all for being here this evening. On behalf of our President Del Saberi and our Board of Directors at French American Chamber of Commerce, it's my honor and pleasure uh, to present the first prize award this evening. Um, I'd like to begin by expressing heartfelt congratulations to all of our uh, award candidates who have each demonstrated values that are dear to the French American Chamber of Commerce and to our French American business community here in New York at large. Uh, they've shown motivation, commitment, enthusiasm, hard work, innovation, and great talent. So again, uh, congratulations to all of you for a job well done. Like so many people before them, these young entrepreneurs came to New York with big dreams and a commitment to seeing those dreams reach their end. Uh, all of this in what we all know is a competitive and ever-changing market landscape. They brought ground groundbreaking ideas, uh, technologies, and business plans that combine both the great French technical prowess and savoir-faire with American pragmatism and go-to-market commercial sense. They'll go forward trying to leverage the educational, cultural, uh, commercial strengths and complementarities of our two great countries. So this is really why the French American Entrepreneurship Award is such a great match for the French American Chamber of Commerce, where every day we try to bring together the best of French and American business people and help them grow and succeed together. Indeed, today, in case you were not aware, our membership is comprised of 40% Americans, and about 51% uh, of our members come from companies of less than 250 employees in the world. So it's a lot of small businesses and entrepreneurs. This combination of French and American professionals, small businesses, and some of the world's largest multinational companies is really what gives the French American Chamber of Commerce this richness and diversity across our 5,000 member, 18 chapter network through the United States. We created this platform to bring people together and help them develop their businesses. And speaking about the strengths of French and American business people, I'd like to highlight the, the Chamber's International Career Development Programs, our designation by the U.S. State Department as a J-1 visa sponsor, and our partnership with the Agence Française pour l'immigration et l'intégration, which helps young people from both sides of the Atlantic do training and cultural experiences in the other country. Next, on, this, on September 15th, we'll celebrate our annual French American Chamber of Commerce Foundation Gala and welcome Hubert Joly, the CEO of Best Buy as our honoree. We'll recognize 12 new recipients of the Serge Belanger scholarships, bringing the total amount of scholarships distributed to French and American students to $360,000 over the past four years alone. These young people and entrepreneurs are the future uh, leaders of our community and the future of CADFA of the companies that comprise our uh, network. With the launch of FACC Cowork, our co-working space in 2015, the Chamber opened a new chapter in its efforts to provide ever more effective support to French entrepreneurs entering the U.S. market. We believe that the access to our large and small French and American member companies and to the experts that enjoy membership in our organization are the most valuable assets that we can bring to bear to these companies that are starting their activities here. If you'd like to take a tour of our co-working space, please see me or one of our, my colleagues afterwards. We'd be glad to invite you in. Just a few words on some recent and upcoming events that might be of interest to you. Uh, we recently held an innovation panel uh, which featured top executives from Capgemini, Orange, TV saint monde and Dassault System. We just recently began our Lunch and Learn series with topics including PR planning for the U.S. market, search engine optimization, and legal pitfalls for small businesses. We recently held a webinar on distance selling, and on May 25th, we'll work with the French consulate under the French tech banner 
to present uh, the end of safe harbor rule for EU-US data transfer. You may have heard about our March 30th French-American Luxury Symposium, which took place in this very room, or our upcoming 25th anniversary tennis tournament, the BNP Paribas Cup, which will take place on June 9th at the Westside Tennis Club in Forest Hills. We hope you'll join us for this uh, convivial and uh, sportif event, uh, which is always a lot of fun. So again, many thanks for welcoming me here this evening. Uh, it is a pleasure and honor to represent the French American Chamber of Commerce and to be with all of you tonight. And uh, it is my honor to present the grand prize to Thomas and Bio Thank you very much. <laughs>